Reef DVM's coming at you today with the Otter 2 Pro sled that we have. Um, just got this sled and we decided we need to put a high flex runner kit on it. Unbelievable, but pulling it outside on the ice just a couple times and the bottom of this thick sled, which I thought would hold up a lot longer, is just not. It's just like wearing away. The plastic just must not be tough enough for it. Um, got a nice tongue kit on it and you know this is a nice big Otter Pro uh, 2 series. Uh, but it's just gouging away on the ice. It's like, wow. Um, so we went out and got ourselves one of these Otter Premium High Flex kits. This one happens to be the medium size, which is right for our sled. Mm. I think thing cost uh, like 40 bucks. Got ourselves an Allen wrench, uh, a socket set, a drill bit, and pretty much uh, that's all it says you need to install this. So off we went. Did end up finding out that uh, a nice rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer works really well too because it's fairly tight to get these uh, in the holes at the front. There's kind of like inset grooves and they were not easy to get into that. Now granted, um, maybe it was just our sled, but you know we had to pre-drill the holes and we drilled them with the smallest bit we could so that when we sunk the bolt, it kind of bit into the, the uh, plastic to hold on its own before we actually flipped it up to put the washers and the lock nut on them and of course we started doing this by hand with an allen wrench but we switched over to the drill because it was much easier the one thing i can say is at the top where these things attach they do stick into your sled a bit so you might need an extra washer or two to make sure the nut ends up flush with the bolt so that you don't have that jagged edge to to wreck your gear you kind of just have to bend these things down into place it's not real hard but you just got to take your time and line them up and bend them into place and then drill them uh, I found none of this to be difficult at all, I mean, a little time consuming, but overall the kit went on fairly easy and, and certainly um, I'd recommend this. Uh, we set the, the chuck on the drill there and uh, you know put one of those uh, little uh, Allen head wrenches on the drill and seated them all that way because it was a lot easier than turning them with an Allen wrench in by hand. And then we on the other side obviously put the washer on and then the locking nut and on several of them on the front row. We put an extra washer on just so that there wouldn't be that sharp edge to catch on the gear or the fishing clothes or whatever. Inside, this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's not the cleanest sled, but again, we'd used it a couple times before we figured out we were going to need this on there. You can see all the, the bolt shafts, you know, poking through. And then basically, it's it's take a, a nut and a locking washer, which they provide, and tighten them back on. Um, very nice, easy install. Like I said, the only difference I'd probably do is make sure you add a washer or two. Looks strong and durable when you're done. Um, certainly I'll give a review as to how this holds up. Uh, we'll pull this behind the gator, it, it should hold up fine. This seems like even a harder plastic than what was on there. It's obviously a little smoother too. So when you're looking at this and we kind of pick it up there from the front, you can see there's, you know, um, hang on a second here. I just got to get this up a little higher. Uh, you can see that there's some, you know, edges to the front blue, but it's kind of where it curves up. So that hopefully that won't be any issue of, drag when we pull it but otherwise it looks sound it looks nice this is what we wanted folks um, hopefully this works out good for us it took us maybe about an hour to do the install nothing major um, and hopefully it holds up for years to come so here it is the otter 2 pro sled uh, with the high flex kit on it uh, thank you for watching please like or support the channel we'll put out more great videos like this thanks folks